Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 2 of our Judgment series in Alpha 6. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, everything been going fine until we started to starve. And that's not nice at all. And yeah, we're now doing pretty damn terribly. We need a workbench. Actually, we now have enough resources for the workbench. Let's go and queue that up. Let's hope Eric gonna start freaking focus on farming more. And hopefully he's gonna level up and like start produce more food because this is of his farming skill. But yeah, we lost one person. I'm really upset about that. Also, we're receiving a lot of occult research. And this guy's already level 5 at occult? What? You've been practicing a lot, looks like. Brr, let's... I don't know. Dark magic unlocks Hell of Fortune Demonite Bow. Oh, how's Demonite Bow looking? Damage 15 compared to this 12. Attack speed 6. Range is lower and accuracy is lower. Why? Why do I have to lower it all so much? I don't know. But we don't have any demonite anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we need more wood to be chopped down. It's gonna be done, hopefully. Rituals. For rituals we need wheat. For charms we need more occult. Lucky charm. Mystical charms provide all kinds of benefits to their wearers. Oh. I would like to have something like that. Oh, look at how quickly Harry is actually farming uh, farming the shit right now. Okay. Assistance needed. Mm, could we afford it right now? I don't know. How many, how many clubs we actually have? We have uh, three. Okay, let's go and craft. Oh, we don't need an extra club. Okay. How? How? How, how, how many enemies gonna be in here? Three imps, one minor demon. The problem is, we probably don't have enough food to send anyone. If I were to guess. We have food to send one, two, not three. Gosh darn it. Eric, go farm some more freaking uh, vegetables. Please. Right now. Never mind. We're probably gonna just miss this mission because... Yeah. That's went out really freaking quick. And it's kind of annoying. Glenn, why are you doing farming as well? You're not proficient in it at all. Oh well. So, what I want to work towards right now is probably some... Like, the bow thing. Uh, what am I trying to click? C. Thanks. Mm, make me force arrows. I'm gonna try to make composite bow right away. We're starving again, but obvious, of course. More enemies approaching. God damn it! Let me make the freaking bow first. Mm. Also, let's go and craft another one club. Just so everyone's gonna have a weapon at least. Never mind. Actually, now we managed to do this. It's great. Everyone prepare. Oh, two reapers now. Okay. Okay. Someone's gonna die, that's for sure. If one Reaper we could beat, like, just f by luck, two Reapers, someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die for sure. God damn it! <laughs> no. Game, you could have just sent, like, ten Reapers to me and it's gonna be... Yeah, look at this. Eric couldn't even run close enough before dying and now, even if I were to try to run away, he's gonna die. Uh, this is gonna be GG on the second fucking episode? Yes, de it definitely would be. Uh, that's fun. Yeah, that's sure. I probably should just... <laughs> probably should just uh, lower the difficulty. Two people. Never mind, it's not GG. But it's gonna be. Because I couldn't... Do anything anymore. Um, actually, <laughs> the lower, the less... Uh, what is this actually? What is this number? Nine day. What do you mean? It's like increasing by nine a day or something? Probably. Um, yeah, I don't know. Less people means less awareness, so I guess <laughs> it's kind of good in a way. But yeah. For some reason, I have uh, I have a feeling that this game actually became harder, or maybe I just maybe I just uh, fucked up with the uh, difficulty. I should have ch chosen the lower difficulty. Also, someone need to work on the farms, guys, before you're gonna die again. Glenn, you're gonna do this? 
Yes, okay. At least I hope three farms gonna be enough for two people, right? If you're actually gonna be making any salads. Okay, Glenn, stop making salads, go eat before you're gonna die. Uh, Glenn, you know you're an, a moron, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, we received cruise for free because because the game knows that I'm already fucked. Cruise, you're a smoker. Wow, <laughs> such a useful trait to have. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be GG for this for this one, I w and I would need to just start fresh with lower difficulty because I'm shitty at, the g at this game. And Cruz couldn't hit for shit. Wow. So good. Mm. Harry, could you please not die? It would be really nice. Yeah, this is... That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Have you seen that? You fucking started attacking Cruz, but Harry died. What? What? Game, fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off with this bullshit. He started focusing on Cruz, but he still hit Harry from like halfway across the map. He stupid did that. It's an one intense fight, right? <laughs> Could you please go to like speed 4? Because this guy's gonna be fighting for eternity. Cruz joined my colony. Yeah, Cruz now is the only one guy <laughs> in this colony. And he's probably not gonna survive for long anyways. Oh, now you're gonna be sending me this... ...these missions over and over and again, because I only have one person left. Uh, yeah, that's totally reasonable. And then I'm gonna lose one person while defending, and then you're gonna send me another one, and then it's gonna be a freaking uh, death loop. Until we're gonna... Yeah, it's like... Colony gonna completely... Go away. Oh, now you gave me an edict. Is there any good people in this world? Or is it just smokers, edicts, weak ones and... Uh, whatever else we had in here? And now this attack is actually... Uh, more people than the last one, so... We're probably not even gonna survive this one. Also, am I not supposed to, like, have a... <laughs> have a choice if I want to protect this person or not. Ah, oh, fuck off. I'm just gonna let you die because I don't give a shit. And you're, you, yeah, you couldn't find a uh, fight anyways. Oh, that was a fun run. Yeah, for sure. I'm just gonna start a f fresh one right away. There's still like 10, um, <laughs> 10 minutes in this episode. And this one we're probably just gonna start on the lower difficulty because... Fuck off. Casual. Forgiven is probably like the lowest one, right? Reduced needs. Survivors work faster. Weaker enemies. Less frequent attacks. For players who don't enjoy game uh, that are very hard or casual. Let's just, let's just go for casual now. I'm a pretty casual bitch, so... Oh, uh, I haven't switched off tutorial. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Bobby, Stan and John. Brute, horror, meat lover. Addict and Brute Meat Lover Athletic. It's a little bit better now. Uh, our well, of course, is the middle of, uh, in the middle of nowhere. And we have, like, no freaking trees on this map. That's even better. Okay, as always, start by constructing me a lock cabin. Right here. Oh, I should have switched off tutorial. Oh, well. I could wait. Next thing, the food table. And the bed. Then we need a lot of wood. Go and collect me that. Mm, yeah, thanks for that. Then a research table. What do we need for the research table? Nothing. Go and get one. Then we're researching the farming, and then we're ready to go. Yeah, let's hope on this schedule we actually have higher chances to do anything. And if you... Actually, I'm probably not gonna go for the... For the easiest difficulty, because it's not gonna be much fun, right? Or is it gonna be? I don't know. We'll see. Give me farming. 
and give me farms. I'm not gonna start placing them on this side. Yeah, I know, thanks. We need some extra stone. I actually like the previous map a lot more. Because we had all the resources densely packed around our initial house, but now we need to go quite far. And that's not great. I'm not pleased about that, but oh well. Let's get a new farm. Do we have some farming person? No, we still have everyone with zero farming, which is quite sucky. Craft two clubs, sure. I'm gonna craft three if you want. Or not, not if you want, if I want, and I do want it. Thanks for this, thanks for that, thanks for this. And person needs assistance. Let's wait for the clubs to be uh, to be done. And send someone here. Now it's only two minor demons. <laughs> Look at all of these people with his fighting skill. My goodness. Some participants are unarmed. Uh, so what? Oh, you're not gonna allow me... Or you're not gonna... You're not allow, gonna allow me to send people with bare hands? They still could fight with bare hands. Even though they're unarmed, so... Whatever. Uh, but yeah. This one mission is supposed to be no problem. There's only two minor demons and we have like people with, with three and two fighting skill. Right from the start. Yeah, look at how much higher the hit chances are. L my last people had like 20% or 30% chances. And these ones go with 53 right away. Nice. We have like Rambos and shit. Great. This is probably gonna be a lot more enjoyable than the or last one, Annabelle. What do you have? You're an addict. God damn it. I know it's an apoc uh, apocalypse and all, but you don't need to be doing drugs so frequently. Mm, you're pretty terrible at farming, but you're still gonna do this. Yeah, because I guess we don't really have anyone else who who's gonna be doing that. So, mm, next thing we need to focus on is what? Construction, bow, yeah, let's spend some on the bow making. Do we have person with science as well? Uh, guys, you're standing on each other. Could you let me please... What are you doing? It looks like you're like touching Bobby. Oh, she's just... Oh, is there idle? Really? You don't have any jobs? Go fetch water. And go... I have a workbench already, right? No, I don't. Let's go to Q1. It's a research bench, right? And this one is a workbench. Yeah, let's queue the workbench. And let's queue more woodworking. Actually, first of all, plant me tons of trees in here. Because we, like, have no freaking trees at all. That's probably gonna be an overkill, but... Whatever. If you have so many idle people, why not give them some work, right? I hope some <laughs> I hope uh, planting more trees not gonna increase awareness level. If any, it actually should decrease it, because it's gonna be harder to see our <laughs> shelter from behind. Okay, I'm starting to finally get some vegetables, which is nice. Also, what I should do is build myself a third farm. From what we learned from the previous game, I hope. Mm, also, chop down these trees as well. Mm -hmm. Bobby, how are you doing? I learned to... anything? Or oh, not Bobby, who was our addict? Annabelle. You have one in combat and one in gathering now. Actually, because you're an addict, you have plus one combat. Really? Oh yeah, you probably had to fight for your drugs <laughs> quite frequently or something. Uh, <laughs> okay, our forest is almost planted. Uh, do we have enough now for the another one farm? We definitely do. Okay, I accidentally queued in here. I don't really want it to be zero. Let's go and place it here instead. <laughs> Assistance needed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send the people. People there. Five m imps. Okay, imps are pretty squishy, but still, five is not... Is not really something I would like to encounter, or punt, whatever. Awareness and enemy progress. Uh, okay, we actually haven't read this before. Uh, enemy progress. Times goes by, the demon infestation spreads and enemies become stronger. Later in the game you will encounter a larger number of more powerful creatures. Yeah, like freaking uh, two reapers at the same time. Enemies become aware of your presence over time, a larger population are harder to hide and generate more awareness. 
On Vernus is high, there is a higher chance the enemy will raid your colony. Oh, okay, so this is a chance that they're gonna raid uh, with stronger forces. Many other elements can affect enemy Vernus, such as research and missions. Uh, don't let your colony grow faster, then you can hide your presence or you may be overwhelmed. Uh, that makes sense, I guess. Am I supposed to, like, uh, not take too many people too quickly, or am I not supposed to do what? How could I stop my colony growth? Because... I need to build everything, right? But... I don't know. Uh, I hope you're all gonna be able to survive imps, right? Yeah, they're not really that... Powerful. <laughs> okay, that was nice. Survivor information, I already know about that. And we received Grace. And some sulfur. Thanks for that. Mm, Grace. <laughs> what I'm talking about? We have the second uh, edict in a row. So many drugs around. I like, I don't know, inhaling sulfur or something, some kind of new drug in this apocalyptic world. So, you're doing farms and shit now. Mm, what kind of new research we're gonna be in or going towards? Not sure. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna go wood working and then all the way to colony defense. And I've been thinking about building a bow for myself. We need a workbench. We do have a workbench. What else do we need for this thing? We need scraps, wood and arrows. L let's queue someone to collect scraps. L let's queue someone to collect me some extra wood. Actually, we need a lot of wood because we would need to make all of these arrows. And let's queue some arrows. Okay, mm that should... Should make some people busy. Okay, that should be enough arrows. Then uh, scraps and just some extra more wood. I think all of these trees should be enough. This one should grow in time, hopefully. And please prioritize farming more. Please. Uh, I also thought there should be like... Oh, there was a... Some... Oh yeah, that's what I've been looking for. Manual priorities. <sighs> How do I work with that? I'm not entirely sure. Direct to change priorities. This is hard. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm too lazy for that. Mm, I'm like used to RimWorld thing. RimWorld system, so... I don't want to mess with that. Okay, let's finally make a composite bow. And who's gonna be our bowman? I think I'm just gonna give a bow to the person with the highest fighting skill. Because it's like increases the... Uh, pretty sure increases the uh, accuracy and shit, so... It would help, kind of. So, we have a bow now. A composite bow. Next thing to go for... Okay, research is going. Let's go and start... Or let's go and build the occult or magic circle in here as well. On this one, try as well. So, give me some... Some extra stone and some extra clay. Already collected all the scraps, so you're not busy with that. And we have 30% awareness again. So, it would be probably kind of nice to go for this lookout post or something. Or camouflage, rather. Awareness generation minus 15%. Bricks. And this one, research. Water usage minus 10. Actually, I think water conservation was locked in the... In the previous alpha. That's quite nice, it's now present in here. Mm. Also, we have already tons of water, so we actually could stop collecting it, I'm pretty sure. Assistance needed. Um, I don't know if we're gonna send anyone right now there, but it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys. So, I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.